Hi guys, Hillary here. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to be working on a farmhouse decor piece. It's going to be an old chandelier, nice and distressed. It's going to be beautiful. I am using a silhouette machine to cut out my vinyl and I'm using Oracle 631 as a one-time use vinyl sticker to create my image. But a couple other things you're going to need are a hand sander, a chain, we're going to use this to beat our piece of wood and make it look nice and old and distressed, black chiffon paint, antique white paint, stain in special walnut, and classic gray. We're going to mix those and do one part water, one part stain at the very end to give it a nice old look. Also, you're going to need a paint brush. This one hasn't been washed out very well, so it's actually nice and stiff, which will make adding our paint levels nice because it'll leave striations in our paint. And lastly, we need a sponge, and this is just to start on a clean surface after every distressing level. All right, let's get started. Okay, last night I set up our piece of wood I went ahead and started painting. I actually mixed in this lovely cup right here. It's a mess, you can see. Um, instead of getting like a solid gray surface because we want it to be chippy white paint, we want to see variation of color throughout the piece. What I did is I actually poured a little bit of the antique white and the black chiffon on top of each other. And then instead of mixing it all up so I just had gray, I would dip my paintbrush in and get a little bit of white, a little bit of black, and just move back and forth over the piece, and that's what gives you the variation in the color here, and I think that's what's going to make it really pretty when we start sanding and distressing this, because this is what's going to show through. So, that part finished, I did it last night, this dried overnight. Now I'm going to do our antique white, so I've mixed all that up. And now I'm just going to go ahead and paint, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't need to come all the way to the edge because we're going to do a lot of distressing. We want some of that gray and black to show through, so we're just going to put it on real rough here. Okay, guys, we are back. This is all dry. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is take my chain and whack it across the board a few times because what that's going to do is maybe break the surface of the paint a little bit, give it some divots, and then I'm going to sand. And where the chain has maybe broken the paint a little bit, you'll start to see a little bit of chippiness and um, it's going to help give it distressed areas. And um, I also have my hand sander here. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go along the outside corners to give it kind of a vignette image. I'm not going to go too heavy on the middle here only because this is where my chandelier is going to hang. And I don't want, because it's going to be black and my under layer color is kind of a gray black, I don't want to miss the image. So I'm going to go a little bit light in the middle but not too crazy. I'm going to do most of it on the sides here and along the sides here. vinyl stencil here. We're going to go ahead and apply this onto our image. Now if any of you guys out there are vinyl people, sign people, you know that normally you need to go over and squeegee every single little bit because if you saw there are little bits that started to come up as I was doing it and I had to push them back down you want to make sure they have a really clean seal now because this sign is going to be kind of rustic distressed and I'm going to sand it when I'm done I don't need it to be perfect so what I'm doing I, and I would never use a paintbrush like this if I weren't okay with it being a little bit out of where it should be um, such as bleeding underneath the vinyl it's okay if a little bit of that happens in this particular piece but normally I would use a makeup sponge and I would get the smallest amount of paint on my brush 
and I would just dab, 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 dab. And I would probably do three coats because that's just how it works. It's less is more when you're trying to be detailed like that. Okay, we've got this pretty well covered. When you see me going like this, I have a little bit of that gray black paint from last night. And uh, because I wrapped this in a bag last night and kept it wet, um, so I still have some of that gray black paint on here. And I thought it would be nice to have a little bit of color variation. So it's not just straight black. And we'll also get that when we start distressing and sanding, but I thought it would look nice. Okay, now that we got that all peeled off, you can see it looks really good. Nice and detailed. Not much bleed at all. I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this into stress a little bit, maybe touch up a little bit of the white again um, to get it where I like it. Okay, for the final step, what we're going to do is go over the whole piece with a watered down stain. We're going to do one in one, one part water and one part stain. But I'm mixing the classic gray and the special walnut together. Because I want it to be warm, but not too warm because we're going on top of a white base here. Okay guys, here's our final product. Our beautiful chandelier, our farmhouse decor piece. I love the way it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed our tutorial. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Be sure to subscribe so that you get all of our new tutorials. And follow us on Instagram at KH Wooden Paperworks and Facebook at K&H Wood and Paperworks. Be sure to tag us in your work so that we can see what you've created. We'd love to see your work. Um, and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.